My name is Ricardo Sedan. I'm in the direct entry nursing program. I just finished my first year. I'm in the family track, uh, going to be a family nurse practitioner. My background is a little unusual in that I didn't come straight from school. I, I'm switching careers in my mid-40s. I used to be a medical interpreter. I work uh, mostly at MGH as a full-time interpreter. I'm a native Spanish speaker, and I did that for several years. Before that, I was a card player. It is not as glamorous as it sounds, but it is fun. Um, I was a poker and blackjack player for a long time, card counter. I've been interested in the health uh, fields for a long time. I thought interpreting was going to be a way to sort of fulfill that yearning, but I wanted to do more. I want to help people who, uh, whose lives can be changed by small, little interventions. One thing that attracted me to the institute in particular is that a lot of the institute students do their clinical work there. I got to realize just how happy they were with their, uh, their choice of uh, a place to get their education. The faculty have been very supportive about the fact that I'm you know, a non-traditional student. I mean, I'm, uh, I was actually surprised at uh, the broad range of different kinds of students we have here. Uh, as with nursing in general, uh, maybe only 10% are men, but we have people in their 40s, 50s, that so we had a student in his 60s. Uh, as well as people who just came out of their bachelor program and in, in, uh, straight out of college and are in their 20s. So uh, I felt very comfortable being, uh, you know, a, a male in his 40s with a wife and two children going to school full time for the first time in decades. When I began this program, I was fairly certain that I would become a primary care provider in a community of uh, Spanish speakers, uh, people with limited English skills. One thing that my wife gives me a hard time about is that every, it seems that like every other week I come home having had an oncology lecture or a pain management lecture and I say to her, oh, I want to be a wound nurse now, or I want to be an oncology nurse now. Oh, I'm absolutely sure that I want to deal with cancer patients now. Uh, so I keep changing my mind based on my n learning. Our clinical assignments are also very varied. I, I was lucky enough to be in a very interesting uh, surgical Floor at MGH. I was an Ellison 8. I became very, very familiar with people uh, who have had uh, bypass surgery and, uh, and valve repair surgery. Uh, in my medical clinical orientation, I was an, also on a floor at MGH that had a variety of patients. I had patients with kidney problems, with, with pulmonary problems, with diabetes, uh, various different uh, problems. So I've, I've been exposed, I've been lucky, lucky enough to be exposed to a variety of, uh, of different aspects of healthcare. I was astonished about how much I learned this year. Uh, one year ago, and it wasn't even a year really, it's been eight or nine months since the semester began, I knew almost nothing about nursing. I mean, of course I had worked as an interpreter with uh, nurses, nurse practitioners, and doctors, but uh, the depth of what I've learned about nursing care and medical care is uh, enormous. Uh, 